first you need to go into 2d new project and start a new project when you start you'll see a new window that pops up yeah here is my new project that is opening this is the sketcher but we are going to build a geometry in standard geometry context so i have closed it now as a first step i'm going to define the application which is magnetostatic 2d and here we'll give the depth of the domain which is nothing but the height of your geometry and then we'll start with getting our geometric parameters first one is our coil width and then the second one is our depth of the domain just 100 and now it's the air gap which is five for now uh, we are done with geometric parameters now since we have depth of the domain so we are going to replace it with a geometric parameter which is nothing but the dd that we created and then okay so we are done with that now we are going to get our points so point new now we'll create all the points we have 20 points so we'll create one by one by giving their x and y coordinates Overall, I need 20 points to complete the C core with the coil around. So I'm going, I'm creating all those at once and me and in a couple of points where we can parameterize. I'm also including the geometric parameters. As you see, I have included coil width for the X coordinate. So I'm going to do the same thing for the points where we wanted to change in the further simulation So as you have observed, we are using the coil width and air gap as a geometric parameters and we are putting it on the on their respective points. Okay, now we are good with creating all the points since we are done with all getting all 20 points now we need to get lines so we'll go ahead and join the lines that are required 
by going into lines and creating new one so we are going to select segment joining two points and then we'll start joining the all the two points where we need segments we need to be careful on identifying which two points we are joining so that we have the right geometry Okay, we are done with joining the points uh, to get lines. Now we need to get faces to do that. We'll do build faces. So once we do build faces, we'll get the whole geometry. Now the next thing we need to do is we have to get infinite box. So yes, now after getting the infinite box, we'll do complete infinite box and yeah we'll put the options as is now since we got an infinite box we have points lines faces now we'll check our meshing we'll leave as default we are not changing it for now but if you want to change you can now since we have all the mesh settings done we can go ahead and do mesh domain this will mesh our geometry so once the meshing is done we have 99.24 percent of excellent quality elements we can we are done with doing the geometry and meshing also so we'll start with setting up the physics we'll get the required materials for the geometry one from uh, import material dot that one of the library in flux and we'll bring copper material into the model close it and then we need the material for core so we are going to material manager and once you click on it you'll see this window and you'll see a material manager that opens up and you'll see a library of materials from there you'll select m270 35 amp drag it and drop it into your rightmost column in there and then close it this will bring your material into your model now that you got your materials we'll start creating our regions for the face regions when you create infinite box you'll already have that but for others we have to create so create a new one for air and we'll leave it as air or vacuum you can change give the color you want i'm giving white here and the next one is coil with negative orientation and i'm giving it as pink we'll do the setup later first we are creating one now it is coil positive and then the next one i'm create i'm going to create core since it is uh, this one magnetic non-conducting region since it is steel i gave that and gave the m270 steel in there and i'm giving I'm leaving it as turquoise for its color. So now the face region of core is created. We have all the face regions and we are changing the appearance for infinite box. 
now if you see when i click the infinite box the surrounding one got selected so now after face regions i'm creating physical parameters so i have giving a current one amp and then number of turns as 300 for now and for, and but for both i selected it as parameter controlled via scenario now that we have everything we have to create one more coil conductor which is required to complete the phase region of coils and we are going to select the imposed current as a parameter we created which is i okay and now we are going to complete the setup coil conductor region for coils and it's a negative orientation and then component and give the parameter for number of turns as n physical n okay and we're going to do the same thing for positive as well coil conductor region positive orientation coil conductor one and n number of turns once that is done we have to now we completed setting up the face regions now we'll assign the faces to the regions so this is to do that physics assign regions to faces completion mode and now for air which is nothing but the one surrounding so select it okay and then next one is the core so we are going to select the core and then select it as core face region okay next one is left over of the coil so first one on the left hand side one so that is coil positive and the next one is coil negative coil in and then okay so now we completed assigning faces to the regions next one is now that we have everything we have to check physics before we go ahead and solve so we have done that and then now we are going to create a new scenario so in the scenario we'll say that we are going to change the air gap from 1 mm to 5 mm with a step of 1 mm and then put click on arrows okay so now with this scenario you can change your air gap from 1 to 5 and then look at all the ma magnetic computations in here okay now now that we have done it you can go ahead save your project and then solve them i'm saving it right now solve select the scenario and then okay so now flux is solving for you for different air gaps now the solving is done now we can view our results the first thing is we wanted to look at the flux density distribution to do that can you see here every completed the scenario is scenario is completely solved that's what you see in the left bottom now to look at flux densities you went to iso values select the areas where you wanted to see and select the quantity and then okay now we will be able to see the flux density distribution in your model and that's in the core since we did not select the coils you are not seeing it on the coils now you can change your air gap and also see how is the flux density in the core and also in the air gap and now the air gap is 2 mm and if you see the flux density is slowly 
reducing with the increase in the air gap. So the next one I wanted to show is you can plot the flux as well. So you can go into region, select on which region you wanted to plot. And the next one, select magnetic flux, add, and then OK. Now this will allow you to plot the flux in regions in which you wanted. Now you got the flux plots with respect to change in the air gap.